I calculated Cardano's potential peak two different ways and both of the two completely different ways. And for whatever reason, they both fell on around eight bucks. Yeah. And, you know, I, I know that a lot of people are, oh, Cardano to 10, Cardano to 100. I think it's all nonsense for views. I mean, honestly, I would love for Cardano to get to $100, but that's not happening anytime soon. Yeah. Hey, everybody, today I'm joined by an old friend of mine. I don't mean that he's old. I mean, we've been friends for a long time. That's uh, Jason Appleton of Crypto Crow. Brought him on. I wanted to talk to him about uh, Cardano. Is it vaporware? Is it ever going to go up in price? We're going to touch on those things. Uh, but first of all, uh, Crow, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks for having me on, man. Everything's good. <laughs> yeah, everything's great. We'll, we'll just ignore the conversation we had before we went on air here. Um, <laughs> so what? I, I guess let's start here. What, what is behind you on your screen? What is that? Oh, this is, I, this is a, this is one of the, I, well, actually I lost my original background. So I just threw up whatever I could. This is one of the NFTs that I've been uh, working on. It's the twisted times. Um, it's basically like 24, um, you know, tongue in cheek parody type cards that we haven't even released yet, but behind me is future employment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I mean, we're all heading to the metaverse, right? Whether we exactly. want to Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, just some fun stuff. And that's uh, on Cardano. That's Cardano NFTs. Yeah, it's going to be, um, we're going to mint it on adatokenizer.io and then we're going to launch it on the marketplace. We're going to be launching here, I think January 1st, but I haven't announced mm -hmm. the name of that marketplace yet. Well, exciting. So it's, but it should be big. Yeah. So yeah. you, you have been in Cardano for, uh, you, you are the loudest voice in Cardano. I know you have been in Cardano since the very beginning and you know you got really bullish on it i think in 2018 um 2017 and december 2017 i think was my first big like i am marrying cardano yeah, yeah that was my first big video i think well i guess the question everyone wants to know did you consummate oh absolutely every day absolutely. um you know how i roll uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um no, yeah, I, I, I've, been, I've accumulated uh, through the bear market and, you know, my live chat when I, when I go live, um, not much since moving to Florida with my low internet, but uh, there are a lot of people in my chat that, that are always like, hey, Crow, I got in when you're talking about yeah. it. And, you know, a lot of people are telling me, you know, it's not so much that you got me into Cardano, but it's that you kept me in through the bear market when everybody was losing their minds and, you know, and, and a lot of people accumulated more over the bear market as opposed to selling it or selling at a potential loss. And now they're all, you know, ecstatic about how their lives have changed. And, yeah. you know, I try and tell everybody, listen, you didn't buy it because of me. You bought it because of you. You did the work. All I did was I just let you know what my thoughts were about it and why I love it so much and kind of explaining what kind of work went into understanding you know, the technology and those involved and what's coming. And we still, in my opinion, haven't even touched on anything. I mean, we are still an infant in diapers at this point. And, you know, we're, we're, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, come January, I think that the, the people that are out there, you know, running off at the mouth, trying to suppress, you know, Cardano because of their favorite bag, they, they, they got suckered into something or they bought into something with less fundamentals, with less real, whatever, whatever the case is. And they're, they're always the loudest people, but it's not going to matter in the end. I mean, the, the technology and the milestones that are met and, and everything happening uh, is it's going to speak for itself. And Cardano is going to knock the teeth out of a lot of these shit shows that I've been seeing all over the internet. Well, I, I mean, I just go back to 2018, 2019. I was not super bullish on Cardano. Um, I turned bullish on Cardano really about halfway through 2019. Um, I didn't like the, the slow roadmap. I didn't think it was favorable for the price. But in reality, it turned out that they were hitting a lot of their milestones in the time the bull run was launching. And, you know, we saw the price moving up. Um, so let's actually tackle the uh, the the use case of cardano and where it stands as a project the roadmap was very slow but we've now to the we're now to the point where 
you know, people have all are, are putting out all kinds of fun, like you were talking about, like it's vaporware, it's not going to work, it's blah blah blah, it's not, stuff isn't being built, it's never going to be anything. Uh, but from your perspective, where are we now with Cardano in terms of you know the tech and the use case and the applications? I mean, as far as use case and things, I mean, a lot of the futters are accurate to some degree in the sense that the technology isn't to a place where it can effectively compete with Ethereum just yet. Right. The, 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 and, and, you know, while a lot of people, I mean, look, we're all trained to enjoy instant gratification, right? We're, we're, we like buying into a project and watching it 5X in a week. And, and those of us who have been in this market cycle, you know, since 2017, we know how that, we know what that feels like. And I think some of us have been programmed to expect that, which is why like an elongated bull market is such a new concept for so many of us. It's, it's painful to wait and wait and wait. And we're being kind of trained like this is, this is how the real market goes. Early adoption gets either the benefit of knowing yay or nay on a project, right? Um, because it either tanks because the VCs dump on everybody, peace out, and then the project goes by the wayside, or it starts going to the moon rather quickly. And with Cardano, the development cycles are such that there are, there are, you know, what, 100 people working on Cardano? I mean, this isn't something that somebody's building in their garage, right? right? This is something with multiple development teams, multiple companies working together, as well as all of the associated partnerships with what I consider high-end level projects. This isn't just a bunch of, you know... It's just, it's not a bunch of crap being thrown to a wall to see what sticks and then fix whatever's wrong later. They're trying to hit it on, hit it the ground running with every new milestone met. They don't want to have to backtrack. And so I actually appreciate the fact that it's a little bit longer of a development cycle because they're, they want to make sure that they don't end up in a situation like Ethereum where you've got your entire community spending $400 in transfer fees to send 25 bucks for some NFT image. And then, you know, and then the bottlenecking and, and, and everything else. And then they say, oh, ETH 2.0, ETH 2.0 for like two years. And, you know, it, just that whole ragamaroo. Well, we're coming Cardano up on four years now. We're coming up on four years now. For yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of silly. So in terms of where do I think Cardano is, I think Cardano is getting ready to, I mean, it's got its foot in the stirrups. I think it's getting ready to jump on the horse and we're going to go for a nice wild ride. Because when you look at, Hydra, you know, I recently did a video where I talked about Hydra, you know, Hydra just with a 1000 staking nodes, which there are like 2600 delegation nodes on Cardano right now and growing. But with just a 1000, we can read somewhere I think I calculated it out to like 84 billion transactions a day. 84 billion visa does 150 million a day, or, or maybe it was a second, whatever it was, I can't remember. Um, but, you know, I broke all the numbers down and I think it was like a million, trans yeah, that's what it was. It was a million transactions per second per node. And when you multiply that times the number of nodes out there, the throughput on this network at a much, much cheaper price than Ethereum, um, tell me something that's going to compete with that. And then when you mix that in with the use cases associated with all the different countries like Africa, with I, I personally want to work on some things to help Puerto Rico. I've got some plans in place. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to see that's not just about buy this pet rock on this network. It's we've facilitated an entire country to join this new era, this new re revolution, evolution of technology. And we're going to be rising up a lot of ships. Well, you rise up the ships and, it, and it's going to bring the project even further and further towards the sky. And that's that's ultimately where my head's at. That sounds so corny, but it, it, but it's true. I mean, that's the way I look at it. It's going to take a little longer, but I think once it reaches these big pivotal points, it's going to be very, very hard to tear down by the next project that goes around the internet paying bots to shit all over it. Yeah, and, and to the audience here, if you guys want more of that corniness, if my corniness is not enough for you and you want more, Make sure to subscribe to Crypto Crow's channel. You get all the corniness and sappiness that you can ever imagine. Make sure, to, <laughs> make sure to click his link down below in the video description and uh, show him some love. Um, but, you know, you are a person that cares, and 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 that's very evident, um, not only from knowing you, but just from your audience's perspective. Um, and, you know, I think it was really powerful what you said earlier when you were talking about all the people in your community whose lives have been changed by Cardano. But then there's this recency bias, which is like the majority of people in crypto right now came in probably since February, 
right? Uh, somewhere thereabouts, uh, especially a lot of the retail money. And, and so for those people, a lot of them are down right now. For all those people that came in uh, over this year, they're down in price. And then you got these people in your community that have been in since 2017, 2018, accumulating all during the bear market, and they're set. A $3 price move down to $1.20 for Cardano doesn't phase them. Of course, yes, like it affects their portfolio, but the amount of money they've made up until now is so great. What do you think for those people who maybe got it in Cardano around $3, when can those people start looking at recouping their losses and, uh, you know, where we see the the price movement of Cardano start to go back in the right direction? Well, so let's be real about it, right? I mean, a lot of the price action in all of crypto is going to be based on Bitcoin first, right. I think. Mm -hmm. and, and I think fundamentally, it doesn't matter what milestones are met. What the technology of Cardano enables people to do. It, none of that matters if Bitcoin's taking a huge. Shit, okay. We've seen it all time and time again. So the question is are we in a, are we still in a bull market or are we in a bear market? And if we're in a bear market, nothing matters. But all the technology and everything that's going to be launched and all these partnerships and all that, that doesn't mean that all that's going to stop. That just means it's going to further solidify the fundamentals that are going to take the price to new levels when the bull market comes back. I personally think this is just, you know, I called it on Twitter to the day and everybody yelled at me. You know, we were getting on a plane to Puerto Rico and I said, here we are, the first peak of a two peak market. And, and everybody was like, stop fudding, crow, stop fudding. And I'm like, I'm not fudding. This is what, I, what is happening. And sure enough, by the time we got to Puerto Rico, the price had already come down and, and, and it just, and here we are, we've continued downward. And, and I've compared a lot of metrics and a lot of indications of, of where we're at now compared to like the 2013, 2014 market. And the spread is much larger. And I think that spread in between the two peaks is larger because we are in a longer bull market cycle. And, you know, there's, there's so much to that. But the point is, I think we're going up again. We might hit uh, in the 40s, you know what I mean? Or, or, or low 40s. Um, before we start getting that next leg up and then we start reaching towards all not, all new highs. But that's the question right now. Are we going to gonna start reaching towards new all-time highs come January? Because I can tell you right now, I know that a lot of projects are waiting to announce or launch a, a lot of different things for January. People have been cashing out for Christmas. People have been cashing out to pay their tax bills for next year. People have been cashing out for a lot of different reasons. And when you have that, as well as the institutions, they're, they're doing the same thing, just in a much bigger way. You've got, there's so many different variables to this equation, right? But I think in the grand scheme of things, based off of where we're at, and I, I think we're going to start seeing new all-time highs, um, you know, by towards the end of, of the first quarter, into the second quarter, potentially in 2022. And then I think we'll get the blow off top we've all been waiting for. And, and in the meantime, Cardano is going to continue throwing haymakers at the market with the new advancements, new partnerships, and what it's been building this whole time. And I think it's we're going to get to a point where the naysayers are just going to have absolutely nothing left to complain about other than Charles, Charles Hoskinson's beard. Yeah, they certainly don't like that, old Hosky. Um, I, did you hear the story about where someone thought I was, Charles Hoskinson? Really? Oh, it was so funny, dude. We, we went down to the Bitcoin conference, um, my team did, uh, back in, uh, I don't know when that was. Uh, that was August, maybe. I can't remember when it was. Bitcoin 2020. We went down there, and uh, I was we were at the airport. And we were getting off the plane. I, I get recognized like pretty good bit at the airport and stuff. So somebody walked up to me and they were like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you. I had like some sunglasses and a hat on, you know. And I said, oh, well, you know, cool. Nice to meet you too. And, and she said, my father and I run a note on Cardano. And I said, oh, that's great. And she said, you're, you're Charles Hoskinson. <laughs> and and I, I looked at her and I looked at my team and they were laughing. They thought it was the funniest thing they had ever. I was looking around because <laughs> I thought, I thought someone had put her up to it. Like, I thought someone had put her up to it. So I was like, looking around, like, what's going on here, you know? Sure enough, no. So, you know what I did? I just looked at her. I said, thank you to you and your father for supporting my project. <laughs> you had a picture with me and everything. By the like, way, you if you send me a thousand ADA, I'll send you 2,000 back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was it was uh, really 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 funny. But so 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 you do think that there is another peak coming? I I I mean I tend to believe it's sooner rather than later. Personally, I don't think it's a 
very long move to the top. I mean, it's a very far numbers wise, but I, I think quarter one, you know, where I thought was quarter four this year didn't happen. So I'm leaning more towards quarter one than I am towards the middle of next year. But the people all want to know, like, for, and of course, this is just fun. It's just projections. Where do you see Cardano topping out during the the next phase of this uh, before, you know, when we have the retail blow off top, what kind of numbers range are you looking at for Cardano per token? Or per coin? You know, it's been a while since I've sat down and I've calculated a lot, but I, I calculated Cardano's potential peak two different ways and both of the two completely different ways. And for whatever reason, they both fell on around eight bucks. Yeah. And you know, I'll, I know that a lot of people are, oh, Cardano to 10, Cardano to 100. I think it's all nonsense for views. I mean, honestly, I would love for Cardano to get to $100, but that's not happening anytime soon. Yeah. Um, but I, I can definitely see a blow off top peak of around eight bucks before before things start turning around. Uh, and, and the thing of it is, too, is it doesn't really matter in the sense that I mean, it does for somebody looking to get out, maybe take profit, wait for a, another buy-in and a, a new bottom. Right. But I think that while these markets are going to be lengthening, um, it's very likely, man, that we might, we're might we going to see a lot of new trends that we're not used to seeing in the market space. And as these markets begin to, they continue to lengthen, I do believe, and I, you know, you'll, you'll know you're in our, our group. I mean, I, I kind of, I kind of found Benjamin Cowan when he had like 12,000 subscribers. And I was kind of like, Hey guys, you got to check out his stuff. And I had some chats with him and, and, and now he's like, you know, yeah. like, ridiculous. He's just blown the hell up. And, um, you know, I, I really like his work and, and, and he's been talking about an elongated bull market for a while or elongated market cycles. And I think it's going to go to another, the next level of that is we just don't have market cycles anymore. It's just going to be the price of the day or the week. And, it, and things are going to get a lot trickier. And so right now, the, the best thing I can tell people is we are still in the phases of early adoption. And once those phases of early adoption go away, the opportunities that we have now to accumulate more of what our favorite projects are, stop worrying so much about tomorrow's price. Focus more on the technology and what's actually being built, not the FUD, not the, I mean, Ethereum used to get fudded to hell in a handbasket because yeah. all of the Bitcoin bag holders wanted Ethereum to go mm -hmm. take a hike, right? And now we're seeing Ethereum's big competitor, you know, in Cardano or even Solana or some of these other projects and everybody's gunning for them in different ways. Um, don't worry so much about that. Just just focus on the projects, the partnerships that you think are going to benefit you and the ecosystem as a whole. And if you like it, accumulate and don't worry about the rest. It'll sort itself out at some point. Yeah, I think it's a great. I think it's a great message. Um, I would love to do uh, another thirty minutes where I explain to you why I don't think LinkedIn cycles are correct. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother mm -hmm. day. Uh, just to give you something to, to think. Just to think about you know just one thing you realize that we are in a lengthened cycle now right well not necessarily if, if i mean bar is, barely in fact a two peak barely. market this barely. is a longer cycle than we've no, ever seen. i mean just the two peaks doesn't necessarily mean that i mean the 13 14 wasn't a you know gigantic long cycle i i, I think like you could literally say like okay it's a couple months longer whatever but Benjamin Cowan's premise is that it goes to at least the middle of next year and i don't think we're going to see that so um i i think that the the economic forces outside of crypto are going to crumble during this time quarter two specifically look forward to crumble in quarter two and i think that's going to put a stifle on pretty much everything uh i know we were talking before we went on air a little bit about, about deflation i think that's coming in too so th th these are things to look at like it's not just about what's on the chart and what it's showing there's macro factors involved as well but we can do a whole other video i, I, agree I like with you there power. I, I think diminishing returns is certainly correct and I, I, you know th there is a, some credibility to the lending cycle you know, um, theory. And some people would probably say it's, you know, like you said, like it is a little bit longer right now. Well, it's a little bit longer, but he's talking about much elongated going into possibly 2023, um, according to yeah, him. Yeah, no, so, that's that I don't see happening at all. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But I, I think that same thing about stock to flow, I argued stock to flow was correct as long as I possibly could because it had always been correct. But now we're looking and it's not correct. And so that stuff, it, it works until it doesn't work. And I think it's good to rely on the history that you have 
Um, but ultimately, there are other things in play right now in the larger economy. But Absolutely. that's what the- there are a lot of extended variables exactly. to any given situation. So and that's why you yeah, as new variables come into play, some of the things we're used to seeing are going to change, right? Absolutely, a hundred percent. So, but I, I think what you said about Cardano is is good when it comes to the price prediction. Don't worry as much about today. Uh, look at the technology and what it's building. Cardano's ecosystem right now is just a baby. And it's about to, it you no, know, it's just a baby. It's just been birthed. It's a baby. We got to wait and see how it develops. I know there's a lot of promise there. Um, and I know one thing at this point with Cardano around $1.20 at the time we're doing this recording, um, I think we would all uh, celebrate and welcome an $8 uh, Cardano. Uh, I, I still think $12 is kind of my number, but anywhere from the $8 to $12. Actually, I'm buck 34 right now. It's still going up. How about that? Well, the market's pumping right now, but by the time this video comes out, who knows what will be happening? So things yeah, change. Who knows where it'll be? So, I'm looking at green lights, though, man. I mean, we'll we'll see. I, I hope. I mean, you know, I hope. I hope we're getting this into the year pump. But uh, Crow, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Don't forget to go subscribe to the channel. A great, you know, great friend of, of mine, and uh, we'll definitely have to have you back on uh, in the future. Anytime, man. I appreciate it. Love what you do. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And everybody else, make sure to drop your comments down below about Card uh, Cardano. Let us know your price prediction. That's all I got. Be blessed. Boy out.